Hi guys, in this video I want to show you a real simple redirection script. I mean, it is probably one of the most simple scripts that's out there, and there's a couple of reasons you might want to use this, and I'll go over at least one reason that I do. Let's say you want a, uh, a file that uh, pushes you over to another uh, web server, uh, place, or, or whatever. And uh, here, for example, I'm going to go to, uh, let me go to my FileZilla here. And I'm in my imlen.com directory here. Now, I've got a few different things going on here. I have an ad manager that I use myself. I have a uh, jobs website, two, two jobs websites, actually. And I have a WordPress, and I also have a Zencart store, which I haven't really done much with the store. And these other things are just led to from other places. But the main thing on my site is this WordPress. Now, as you'll notice in the root directory here, I don't have a whole lot going on in this, uh, just in the root directory. Everything else is in subdirectories. And since WordPress and Zencart and these others are all sites within themselves, I don't want to have all of these in the root directory because then they're just all going to mish mishmash with each other. So I put them in subdirectories and I reference them either by uh, uh, like a subdomain or just by a directory domain. But I have one index file in here, <clears throat> and that's the most important file. So let me go to the website and show you what happens when you uh, when you visit imlen.com. Now you'll notice that there was nothing in, in there. Uh, let me find it. Okay. There was nothing in there uh, other than the subdirectories, while a couple of other files I'm playing around with at the moment. But anyway, when I go ahead and click imlen.com, watch what happens here. It, it will uh, push you over to imlen.com WordPress, WP. And then that takes you to my WordPress site, which is done enough to the point to where I feel like, hey, uh, that's where I want people to go when they visit imlen.com. Now, when I have my shopping cart fixed up, which all I've done is I've just installed the software. I haven't haven't really done much with it. I haven't put a template on it or anything like that. I haven't loaded it up with products. But at some point I will, and then when I do, I'm going to change that uh, index directory at the base root of my site to reflect a page that will give you the options of going to one or the other. Now, let's get into the file itself and how the file works. Basically, it's a PHP file, and all you do is you just type the PHP open tag and the PHP closer tag, and in between, you put the word header, and then in parentheses, uh, and in quotations, you put location, colon, and then where you want it to go to. And then, of course, you you, uh, uh, you, know, you do this end thing there, and the end parentheses, uh, end quotation, and the end parentheses. And you always have to have a semicolon at the end of any line of PHP. So this is probably the simplest PHP script that you'll ever see easy to do. And just to show you the effectiveness of this, I'm going to change this over and I'm going to make it go to one of my other websites, which is len.farneth.net. Now, when I save that and upload it to my uh, server there, let's see if I'm in the right directories on, yep, and then it's going to overwrite that. So now, this is going to take you to a completely different server when I go and put in imlen.com again. And you can use this to send anyone anywhere around the internet. And there's a lot of really useful things for it. Uh, you can also pass parameters through it, but that's beyond the scope of this video. And I'll make a more advanced video where you pass parameters. But you see right now that uh, by doing so, you've, you, you're taken to a completely different site. Now I can do this with Google. I can also do this with, a, with an affiliate link. So if you have a real long affiliate link, you know, something like, uh, I don't know, Amazon.com, blah, 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 blah. You can just put, you know, uh, teapot.php as a file on your server, and then you can just point people to that teapot.php, and the second they hit that, it'll pop over to the other place. So anyway, I hope this has been helpful for you. I'm going to show you in the next video how I can pass parameters along with this, and... Uh, use it in such a way that you can actually uh, uh, you know, query databases and things of that nature based on the URL that comes in. 
Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment, rate, subscribe. I look forward to doing more PHP videos very, very soon, and we'll catch you in another one.